So welcome to our last and final day of our week. I'm sorry, Random Acts of Kindness week. Um, as we come to our final day, I thought we would do things a little bit different on the podcast. Normally I try and show you either a book or a video or a short clip of some kind. Um, but for today's video podcast, I thought we could just talk. So I just want to speak to you for a few minutes because as our week is coming to a close, it's so important that we don't stop here. So we just had this big week of random acts of kindness week. And I know back on the first day we talked a little bit about what a random act of kindness is. It's something that comes out of nowhere. It's not something that's necessarily asked of us. It's not something that's expected of us. It's something that we do randomly out of the goodness of our heart, kind of like a little surprise. It doesn't have to be a big surprise, but a little surprise of kindness for those around us. So way back in October, we had Week of Respect. We had Kindness Day back in November, and now we have Random Acts of Kindness Week. And all three of those kind of have the same theme, this idea of being nice to each other, respectful of one another, of spreading kindness and love as best as we all can. But the problem with each of those is that they almost give us the idea that those events are just for a day or a week and then they're done. So for example, Random Acts of Kindness Week, it's a short week too, it's only four days because we're off tomorrow. And what that does is it almost makes our brains think, okay, I did my random acts for the week. I earned my yellow tickets. Hopefully you did for the week. I brought in my canned goods for the food drive for the week. And now I'm done. I get to go back to being who I was or maybe just back to not trying to be as kind as I have been the past few days. And so the reason I want to talk to you all today is because it is so important that as these weeks come to a close, as these big celebrations that we have finish up, we don't stop here. Because it would be really easy for each and every one of us to just go back to what we were doing last week and maybe being nice, maybe sometimes being kind, maybe mostly using manners. But it's so much better when our brains are focused on trying to spread that kindness and trying to be the best that we could possibly be. Now the trouble is, you're not always going to get rewarded for that. Okay, so this past week you've been trying to earn yellow tickets, you've been trying to earn house points, and you've probably been doing things with the hope that a teacher or an adult around you or maybe even a friend or a peer would notice what you were doing, right? Like you might hold the door for someone and say, oh, Mrs. So-and-so, look, I just held the door for my friend, which is fine. But as our week is closing, what we really want to do is we want to start doing those random acts of kindness randomly, meaning they come out of nowhere and meaning that we might not get a reward for them. So why do them, right? If you're not going to get a reward, if you're not going to always get a yellow ticket or even a red ticket or any ticket, why should we do these kind acts? Why do we want to change ourselves to try and make this place better? Well, I think the answer is right there. You know, I think that if each and every one of you is trying to be more kind, our school's going to be a better place. And I know you've heard me say that all week. I also want you to think for a moment. Hopefully, each and every one of you, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully each and every one of you have done at least one kind act this week. Okay? So think for a moment. Think about what that kind act was. Think about where you were when you did it. Think about who maybe you helped or who you did something kind for. Do you have it? Do you have one in your mind? Now think about how you felt afterwards. Even if no one saw, even if you didn't get a yellow ticket, how did you feel after you did that kindness, after you were able to spread that kindness to someone else? You know, from knowing each and every one of you, fairly well, I'd hope, 
I'm going to guess that you probably felt really good. You did something kind, and there was a little part of you, maybe in your heart, maybe in the back of your brain, that felt like you did something good, something that mattered. You were able to make someone else's day a little bit better and a little bit brighter. So as Random Acts of Kindness Week is coming to a close, I want you to remember that when we're kind, maybe we won't always get rewards. Maybe we won't always get tickets. Maybe we won't always get house points. Maybe we won't always get a good job from your teachers. But if you do those kind deeds, you're always going to have that good feeling in your heart of knowing you did something right. Of knowing you made someone's day a little bit brighter. You made someone's day a little bit better. You made our world, that second, that instant, a little bit better. And I think, I hope, that that in itself is really enough. Really enough to drive us all to do the right thing. So I have to say, as we're closing out this week, you've heard me talk a lot this week, or at least some this week. And I didn't get to have any students in the videos this week because I was homesick for the most part when I was making these. So here's what we're gonna do. When I come back to school, which I should be back when you're seeing this, I'm going to find some students. I'm gonna find some kids who've done some great things this past week, who've done some wonderful, extra, extraordinary, sorry, <laughs> extraordinary acts of kindness. And I'm going to ask them to maybe make a little video with me next week. So be on the lookout because I might be coming for one of you to try and help have you in a video with me for next week. So this is not the last podcast, even though our Random Acts of Kindness Week is over. I think you'll be seeing me again soon. Boys and girls, I hope you all have a wonderful four-day weekend. And I hope as you go into this four-day weekend, as you're out in the world that is outside of LPES, and as you're with your family and your friends outside of here, I hope that you continue to spread kindness. I hope that you work so hard to try and spread kindness at home and in your community and in places that aren't just our school. I mean, do it at school too, but outside of here. So I hope you all have a wonderful four-day weekend, and I hope you had a fantastic Random Acts of Kindness week. Uh -huh.